Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Anne of Green Gables, uh, 1979. One thing before we start, I actually want to say, because I actually forgot about the book trivia in the previous episode, so I would like to correct that right now, real quick. Uh, in the book, um, the, the salesman basically gets little to no characterization, except on the fact that he's a con man, and you know, the usual stuff. Uh, where So the whole thing with the family and the daughter is added in, in the mm -hmm. episode. Well, we know he um, has still been lying about that, though, apparently. That too. Oh, oh obviously. Uh, but, um, and there's also, uh, and for the most part, the chapter basically just sticks to plot point by plot point. Uh, and I can tell what Takata added a lot of stuff like the Diana visit and other stuff because, yeah, the, um, because, yeah, it wouldn't be enough to fill an entire episode. So Takata had to add a couple extra scenes, uh, which uh, turned out great anyway. So that's fine. All right, so today we're doing an unfortunate Lily made an episode that I think Jova will probably enjoy. Dwayne's will probably be a bit miffed at the specific thing that happens in this episode, so let's see who if I'm if both my predictions turn true or, or just one of them or none at all. Let's do it. Place, place, place your bets, everybody. Three, two, one, click. An unfortunate Lily made, which is also based on this chapter of the same name. Uh huh. Cool. All right. This poor horse tired of you to do this intro for it. No, no, it's okay, Dwayne. It's, fortunately, it's an imaginary horse that doesn't actually exist. So it's fine. <laughs> so it's trapped in her imagination. The poor thing. And no, actually, let me see no, something no, quickly. Actual, no actual horses were harmed in the making of this, except the, they're imaginary. They don't really exist, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Sorry, Shiwa, but if they're imaginary, it doesn't count. Ah. Uh. So spirit never counted. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a Yu-Gi-Oh unicorn wish... card that has that kind of color scheme for the horse. Well, there's which spirit are you talking about? Uh, the father from the 2D animated film, or the the son the, the the son who from the 3D show? Either of them. Either of them. Well, none of them are imaginary to my knowledge. So. You were saying too, sorry? No, I was checking just quickly if uh, the, there was a case, but no. The only close thing I could imagine was an actor unicorn, but that's mostly yellow, so it doesn't really fit. Yeah. Anyway. All right. An unfortunate Lily Maid. A poor unfortunate soul. Ooh, castle. In a cemetery. Oh, apparently, we start with a completely different anime. Oh, <laughs> oh we we'll start with the funeral, of course. Oh, I was gonna be like, wait, Anne's dead? Shit! What the hell happened? <laughs> you have to see the next twenty-nine episodes to get it, Twibs. Hmm. <laughs> but now I'm guessing this is just Anne acting out one of her stories. Yeah. Woe is her, for she suffered the most terrible fate any woman can. She dyed her hair and green. Noticed, and yeah, she has the lily there, which and, and it's where the title oh, of the chapter I, comes from. I thought, I thought you were going to say it like this, Jiva. She dyed her hair green. Oh, hey, Maleficent's castle. She was even the Cardinal scheme. Yeah. Well, hey, at least you don't have to live with Maleficent anymore. I don't remember this version of the Arturian cycle. Wait, wait, besides, wait, 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 wait. did you say your beloved Lancelot? The guy yeah, yeah who... she, she, did, she did mention turns from the Arturian cycle. Yes, Lancelot. Well, you're just, basically, Joe, you're just watching her on Camelot. Thank you, Sean. One, one, day, yeah. one, one, one day, Gary, you will be able to see it and have this quest for Camelot. I just, also, the RC crossfade. I just love the irony that she finds Lancelot, the beloved one of Wolval. Yes, the guy who indirectly go, causes the deep. <laughs> that was a YouTube AMV crossfade, that was. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what song is appropriate? My Mortal? Bring me to so life. Sad. Like you're so sad, Webs. Like you're so <laughs> sad, Webs. Uh, Anne is a very dramatic person, so her imagine so Takata portrays her imagination as dramatically as possible to properly convey her state of mind. Sure, sure. Yay. They're like a posse. 
Whoop. Darn fish got away. Piece of fish. You need to conserve your stamina. Away. Oh, An Anne of Green Gables RPG. Fishing game. Hmm. Again, of course you would want Lancelot, you know, the guy who indirectly doomed Camelot when he cheated on, well, not so much cheated, but cucked his king. Basically. <laughs> oh, Lancelot was not the most noble of them. If anything, that would be Galahad. And he that actually applied that, and that's, and, and that's because Galahad applied a vote of chastity anyway. Yes. But what about Bracer Robin? Uh, we don't talk about him. He ran away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> so, you hear that, gentlemen? Unless your horse These is the finest, she will not go with you. These girls have very strong opinions. Well, I mean, considering that there was an episode of last week tonight where John Oliver was on about fuckable horses, then yeah. I guess she's the descendant. <laughs> or an ancestor. Seriously. Why are you simping after Lancelot of all nights? I get the idea that the kids have been taught a very, very soft version of the Arturian cycle. Probably! Uh, yeah, it's like how in one of my school plays. Meanwhile, we, my parents forced me and my sister to watch the movie Excalibur when we were nine. It's like, it's like how when we did a school play of Oliver Twist, we stopped right before all the deaths started to happen. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That, that cuts out quite a bit. Well, and now, Anne has an idea. No. And yet, uh, and yet, and yet after um, that, and yet after that, I went with the same school to watch a play of Oliver Twist at a theater, and they kept all the death. So I have got an idea, <laughs> an awful idea. That's a, a wonderful story. Idea. Wonderfully awful idea. Pedro. I'm sure yes, nothing wrong right. will happen with this. Is this the episode where we saw a little bit of it in that crappy adaptation of Anne? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me guess. Her knight in shining armor who has to rescue her is going to be Gilbert when she gets herself in trouble. Yeah, I mean, what, we, we, what makes you think that? The preview. Because this is classic storytelling. Yeah, yeah. And then Anne will just quote Toff's line, You can go ahead and let me drown now. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather drown. <laughs> Citation needed, and citation needed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and sometimes I really do have to wonder where you do get some of these ideas and not notice the problem. Eh? Gee, we're it's almost like we're pointing out exactly what is wrong with this idea. Yeah, and he's like, top luck, bitches. <laughs> Again, why is no adult supervising this? You see, Anne, we all took a vote and decided you can have the lead part in this. Democracy is fun. No, 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 no. By all means, you're the one fit for the part. I like to live. You know, Shiroi. Yes? 
these guys, since you brought up the, I'll bring another adaptation as well. Like, uh, you know, Shinra, these girls look a bit too friendly to each other. Clearly, we need them to be meaner. I guess it's yes. what happens when you're with an E. Again! Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and I know if any, they're all they're all very mean to her from the get go you know, for some for reasons that make no sense. You know, again, don't be surprised if we end up doing a commentary of that with how much you guys like to bring up Anne with an E. Like usually, whenever we bring up something that much, we often end up commentating on it. What a shock! To be fair, it is on, to, to be fair, it is on topic because right now Anne with an E created a whole new generation of fans, so it is on topic. To be fair. Oh. Weird. I thought that show got cancelled, though, due to lack of viewership. It, 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 it did, but uh, ever since it happened, a lot of those fans actually went on to read the books. There's also oh, the so sad nice. There's also the sad thing of uh, the main leading actress apparently having cancer, so there is that. Yeah, that is a shame, too. Although, to be, although, although, to, although that was, the show was cancelled far before that was yeah. even a thing. Yeah. All right. There you go. Not early, but whatever. Just use your imagination. That'll do. With all due respect, why do we need to go this far with acting it out? It's not like we even have an audience for it. Fucking, fucking LARPers always ruin everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it going to turn into that uh, Simpsons gag from the film episode? Where uh, Todd ends up getting caught in the current and God saves the day by casting a lightning bolt on a tree? No. Yeah, you're supposed to be there then. Come on. <laughs> Maybe they really hated their sister. Oh, I gotta give commitment, you know. Sure would be a shame if something actually bad happened that would cause them to frown. I'm dead! I know, but remember, she was, <laughs> remember she was, when Anne wrote the fanfic, it said she lay there as, a, as she smiled, so she's supposed to be smiling while she's dead. That is true. But I adhere to the word of the fanfic, she wrote. I'm sure Tommy was so it empathize with this. <laughs> I wonder if this is how he wanted his death scene to go. I would not. Actually, come to think of it. Believe it or not, Dibs, there was apparently a draft of the room where the twist was going to be that he was actually a something something hot vampire in the end. Yeah, I think the Flash game had a better idea. But can, uh, can you believe that though? That originally the twist of the room was supposed to be that he was a vampire all along. Well, I mean, the room game did something. Oh. Better. It was an alien. Did you notice that? Yeah, a bit of the, a bit of the book bro broke. Oh dear. It's I'm good. sure that will cause no problems whatsoever. So, who's going to get in? Shit, we didn't follow this through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, to be fair, their basic idea is that uh, the boat is going towards the bridge, so they're supposed to get her at the bridge. The problem is that, unfortunately, things don't go as, as planned. Nah. Let me guess. Also, wouldn't the, bit, the bridge the be a bit that too controlled high? Where the, the bit that controls the boat turning uh, broke. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I said, Dibs, yeah. Although, how were they planning to reach her from atop the bridge? The bridge looks up high, like, I think it was T. Yeah. Mentioned it, or Shiro, too. The idea is that I, I, I think uh, Anne would get up and jump, and they would catch her, I think. Either that, or this is going to turn into the ending of The Godfather Part 2. Yeah, see, the bridge is very high. Maybe it's a matter of perspective, and when you actually get there, it's actually rather easy to reach. Huh? Like I said, maybe the idea was that Anne would just get up and stand up and jump. Damn you for shortening. <laughs> She'd have to jump pretty high by the looks of it, but maybe it is a matter of perspective. Also, why was there a fate to black? Uh, adverts. Adverts Damn new too. commercial breaks. Oh, shit. Remember, this was made back when there was no other distribution aside from TV uh, releasing. Uh, it's, it's, so, it's so surreal considering shows like this <laughs> never got commercial breaks in my country. Now, now, and you should stay lying back. Exactly. Swim. Uh, help. Can she swim? An attempt was made. No, unfortunately, she cannot swim, Jova. 
Oh. This was a bad idea. No. <laughs> what made you say no that? No shit. He <laughs> was, yeah. And the friends probably can't even hear her. Exactly. What was that? You want me to sink the boat faster? Okay. <laughs> oh, Your no. wish is granted. Yeah. Not, not gonna Damn lie, God. this would be this would be kind of a silly way for Anne to go. Oh gee, Anne's in trouble. Whatever can we do? Oh, what Anne's... is she going to do now? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Anne got herself into trouble. Must be an must be a day that ends in Y. And there we oh. go. Just okay, about. so I guess we're good then. Not really. No. Nope. Nope. And now the boat's gonna go on without you, for its heart will go on. There you go. Oh, there you go. That's it. That's it. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, like, supposed to be uh, there. Okay, now that makes um, more sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, oh, okay. The, the idea was for them to. The idea was for them to wait here. Unfortunately, yeah. If it wasn't. For the they water, this asleep. would have gone just fine. Let me guess. The ironic thing is that the boat would have made it if Anna just stayed in there. Let's see. Yeah, but she would have sink. She would, uh, wait, but I'll put it in the boat sink. There you go. They wouldn't have made it, but it made it just huh. enough for them to see it. Is this mm. part of the play? Just improvise. <laughs> I remember that part of the story where the princess came back to life only to drown in the water. Oh god, yes, uh... we may... Oh god, oh, Jesus. <laughs> and her end of oh god, we may have literally just murdered her! This is why you need fucking adult supervision. <laughs> well... Also the music right now, Jesus. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We deny everything, we just go home and... Pretend nothing happened. Yeah, pre pretend, uh, pre pretend like you don't know, Anne. Right, because you know, also it's pretty in the north of the water, must be very cold. Yeah, they can hear. They can hear you. Sorry, Anne. <laughs> oh, tragic irony. Shit. <laughs> This is oh my god! This oh, is kind of yeah. like Frozen 2010. <laughs> so yeah, who can possibly help Anne now? A dashing mm. prince, it looks, no doubt. It, 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 it looks like Anne is is is, is doomed. For. I mean, who could I mean, who could possibly uh, show up in here? Oh, <laughs> someone's fishing. Wait, I wonder who that is. Oh god, I hope he doesn't pull out. I'd rather drown than be saved by Gilbert thing. No, 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 no. Well, uh, no, no, don't worry. Necessity and everything. Leaves, she, but... she, accept, she accepts his help uh, just reluctantly. Oh god, he turned it. He became possessed by the exorcist. Look at that neck movement. Yeah. <laughs> just my luck. It was a surprisingly common thing for animes at the time, even and the Ruby Spears the cartoon and of Mega Man Hadley. God, let go of your pride and tell him what is going on. No, no, I think she's gonna let him help her. No, no, she is. Don't worry. Don't worry. There you go. See? Land, for the love of God. Ah, uh, listen here. Listen, listen here. Listen here. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Meanwhile, your friends are convinced that they murdered you, so overall it's been a productive day. Aw, oh, he's worried about her. Well, remember, he genuinely likes her. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, snap. exactly. He's, he's read the book. <laughs> That's a thing, Jova. Um, uh, the, the, it's it's in the second book that we get more into it. But uh, Gilbert is just as much of a of a studious reader as Anna is. Actually, I kind of That's something got, that she only finds out. I kind of later. That That's something that she only finds out later. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of got oh, that hold on, from him. Hold on. On this. Man, he saved your life. Literally. Yeah, so you're up again. Not, not a sir right now. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. She's blushing. Her heart sk just skipped the beat. <laughs> Don't. But... Over my dead body, oh, I'm my sure. Oh my god. She's way too prideful for now. But you know what's the interesting thing? What? As we're going to learn later at the end of the book, when she when they finally do reconcile, she confesses to him that she already for this is where she officially forgave him. It's just that right now, now she's way still, still too mature to really admit it to even herself. I'll say. But yeah, she this is where she this is where she officially uh, forgave him, even if she won't admit it. <laughs> Aka. Yeah, Baka. Basically, yeah, basically, <laughs> so, basically, basically, she's being Tsundere right now. And stop I mean, being dorks, all of you. I, I mean, all things considered, and I. There you go. It's a miracle. No, it's a little ghost. <laughs> Okay, I think the color is fucked up a bit. Uh, those are supposed to be blushes, but they look like just the bruise, the same as the bruises that Anne was having. No, 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 no. no. They're, not supposed, they're not supposed to be blushes, uh, Joe. Uh, remember, she's dirty because no, of, no, 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 uh, for Anne, yes. But in the previous shot, the all the other three girls uh, had uh, similar strokes, uh, brown strokes uh, okay. on their cheeks. Uh, I'm guessing uh, this was back in the day where correcting an animation mistake would mean having to redraw the whole thing. Sorry, Mr. So... Miyazaki, the, the splotching has been not too great. You have to redraw the Excuse again. me, excuse me. I only do the layouts here, okay? I didn't, I didn't animate. Don't complain <laughs> to me. Honestly, I think it's just the, to show that. Why oh. are the brown spots moving around like a Charlie Brown cartoon? <laughs> Maybe Anne right. becomes Big Pen. The animation director for this was Yoshi for me. <laughs> uh, my... uh, see, everyone else finds it romantic. <laughs> uh. it seems Why, like yeah, you, know, uh, uh, you asking Shiro? It seems like that's done on purpose, though. I mean, like the brown lines thing, because. Like, it seems to be for when, like, characters are in, you know, a lot of distress, because we saw the same thing when Anne was crying over her hair dye. Mm-hmm. I don't recall the brown... Also, in interest, interesting tone for the skies. Uh, that, that pink and now super dark blue. He worked hard on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know it literally almost got me killed, but please be patient. <sighs> Is that the only thing you should be getting? Priorities, then. Okay. Um, Mr. Matthew, action! <laughs> I will admit... Matthew. Oh. Go on. No, go on, no. go on. I'll admit, I do get that Anne can be prideful, but I'll admit it is kind of annoying that she didn't at least just make amends with Gilbert right there and then like... Or, yeah. I mean, or at, the, or at the very least just be like, you know, like, um, I don't know, just go, hmm, or something, and then they'd be like, well, I mean, it's a start at least, but no, she's like, no, fuck you, Gilbert. 
I, I get it. Gilbert was kind of a horror to her at first, but man, he spent much more you time also, to make a mess of her and has legit saved her life at this point. At the very you least. You also have to take in consideration that the passage of time, several months, if not a year and more, have passed since then. Like, and she's still acting like this. Like, okay, I do get maybe there's a plot and purpose, but no. I'm kind of annoyed with him on that bout. Like, maybe if Gilbert had constantly been going back and forth with her, but no. Ever since she nearly killed him... That's oh, that's a, cool, the imagery. And that's the thing. She nearly killed him, whereas he, in return, saved her life. Literally. I think I think what might not be help, you know, might not help is the fact that uh, a lot of Gilbert's characterization is happening off-screen. Uh, I mean... Uh, that, that, that's how it is in the book as well, so... Yeah, I, mean, I can imagine. I will say this. We've seen more of Gilbert getting better and being good, whereas Anne just really has not let him live down that one thing. And again, I do feel like this would have been the perfect point to, hell, not even have them be friends, but at least just have her say acquaintanceship at worst. Or at least she won't constantly hate him at the sight of him. But no, dude literally That's saved his life. And well, and yeah. That's and, a that's a Vinjova, like the way what Lucy intends for for here, and and I mean that little bit where her heart skipped a beat is your hint right now. But yeah, when she will eventually fly to Gilbert, that yeah, she 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 deep down she yeah she does uh, indeed uh, realize uh, that Gilbert is not as bad as she thinks. It's just that uh, it's just that she really doesn't want to admit it even to herself right now, and she will even uh, apologize to Gilbert by the end of the book. It so, is taking taking the time though. Okay, okay, okay. I will say this. I do get patience and all, but from Gilbert's perspective, what reason should he have to listen to her by the end of the book? Like again, he has been trying nothing but his best to try and make amends, uh, and she continues to demonize him. I mean, yes, I get that she herself forgave him, but story wise, technically we wouldn't know that if you hadn't told us. And like, well, I mean, mm -hmm. okay, let me put it like this. It's like I said, if Gilbert had been acting like a dick for more of the story, I get that. But, man, it kind of just feels a bit uncomfortable to see in this mean to him. I get the feeling how, how Gilbert, nice. Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert could probably save Anne and, her, and you know, the rest of Green Gables from a burning house fire. And she'd still be like, yo, fuck you, Gilbert. You hurt my feelings that one time ten years ago. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, all right. It, 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 fortunately, it wouldn't go up past ten years or anything like that. Okay, but I, uh, I get the feeling. I get. I get the feeling Takahata probably would have uh, changed this. The problem is that it's that's one of those things where Takahata can't change it because if he changed it so that she forgives him now, it would heavily change how how her their relationship goes from here on out. Uh, so uh, while it is true that Takahata is willing to change something that w when he sees room for improvement. This is one of those cases where he, de where changing this would be an incredibly heavy change um, that would change uh, everything moving past here. So, dev so I can, uh, so he probably thought, no, I'm gonna have to keep this in because you know I want to preserve the integrity of the the author's original vision. Um, so, but I, but I do, but knowing what I know about Takahata, I, I can definitely see him probably secretly wanting to do it, but he, but he took, but he thought, no, no, I, I have a duty to the book, I can't go this far mm -hmm. um, i don't have any evidence of this mind you but i genuinely do have the feeling because if you think oh, I, I am willing I'll, to believe that I'll... this is more so a problem with the original story as opposed to the adaptation. yeah it is oh no no no, no. Jabba, Jabba, Jabba. this chapter right here this is basically a copy paste of the book right yeah i was about to mention instead if anything i kind of dread what and with an would have done with this kind of concept especially considering you know Situations similar to this happening a lot of, of you know bad movies that trying to portray feminism. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say this, Twibs. Uh, you would hate the way and uh, okay. Well, not, not the, I'll, I'll just say this, Twibs. Like the interesting thing is that uh, guess what? They, they change it completely the way uh, Anne and Gilbert work. Like Anne already forgives Gilbert, not because he helps her, Twibs. You know why he forgives her? Because uh, in in Anne of Any, they give Gilbert a sick father. That later dies. Oh, uh, great. Before, uh, Cheap emotional and... manipulation. Yeah, that's anything funny, but basically, too. And, and she even. Look, I'm an orphan, too, so I understand what you're going for and everything. What? So if... Again, not, cheap emotional manipulation. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, 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 okay, she disagrees with me, Jova, but, but, but there is one scene 
uh, where she literally said she she where she's trying to console Gilbert, but she talk about look. Well, at least you st well at least you uh, got to have a father. I never saw mine. And then Gilbert turns to her, hold on, wh why is this about you again? Like because this is right after the funeral, for the record. She really thinks it's fine, but I personally don't like that scene. Okay, um, so I need to see it to get the context. Uh, isn't anyway. that the, that, that, anyway? Did they did they take that bit from? Did they take that bit from you know, insulting someone that, that after one of their relatives' funerals? Did they take that sure, bit sure. from Fruits Basket or something? I don't know. This is one of those. But yeah, I do agree. I do agree with Joe and Webbs that yeah, this is one part of the book where Lucy probably, if this Lucy was going to write this book now, she probably would have written it differently. Um, but yeah, this is probably this is definitely one of the parts of the book that was probably could have been handled differently. If I may, I think my major problem is like, well, it feels like it's great build up for us to finally get a good character moment. And then it just gets tossed aside. I mean, okay, sure. Yes, the visual cues that Anne's heart skipped a beat are there. So maybe we can infer that she forgave him, but it just feels so mean spirited for her, all that to happen at Anne for her to see just how it's like in the book. It's like those, uh, it's like those jokes that uh, that Pedro uh, made about made about uh, you know uh, how I portray certain characters and we do LPs and stuff like uh, yeah, I you know, one... I, I'd like 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 I'd have a grudge like I'd hold a grudge against someone for years for someone oh, stubbing on my toe. I actually, here, Joe, let me help you. Um, um, I have a question: Was the heart skipping a beat thing in the book chapter itself as yes, well? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, I was about to read it to you. Allow me. <clears throat> Uh, he said, and I quote, Can we be good friends? I'm awfully sorry I made fun of your hair that time. I didn't mean to vex you, and I only meant it as a joke. Besides, it's so long ago. I think your hair looks awfully pretty now. Honest, I do. That's be fine. So yeah, basically the same thing she's, he says here. Uh, and, then, and then narration. <clears throat> For a moment, Anne hesitated. She had an odd, newly awakened consciousness under all her outraged dignity uh, that the half-shy, half-eager expression in Gilbert's hazel eyes was something that was very good to see. Her heart gave a quick, queer little bit. Sorry, she read. This is how the book is written. Um, but I know. Bitter, for the, but the bitterness of her old grievance promptly stiffened up her wavering determination. So there goes that. But the bitterness of her old grievance promptly stiffened up her wavering determination. So yeah, basically, Karl Takahata is literally doing what's written in the book, literally. Uh, that scene of two years before flashed back into her recollection as vividly as if it were taken place yesterday. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, her resentment, which to other and other people might be... Oh, I, you'll pull this one, Jova. Her resentment, which to other and older people might be as laughable as its cause, was in no whit allayed and softened by time, seemingly. So, uh, so, uh, so Lucy flat out admits that uh, there is a bit of self awareness at the very least. Uh. Okay. So Lucy was self aware of this, it seems. So yeah. I will just say this: so long as the enemy doesn't harp on this, I can live with this. But I swear to God, if I have to go through more episodes of Anne and Gilbert being at each other's throats, no, Gilbert gets stalked on. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I can actually, I can actually, I can actually um, put your heart at ease right now, Jova. Up until now, until episode four, uh, episode uh, f uh, the final episodes, um, the final episode, in fact, um, Anne and Gilbert will not interact because uh, starting with this, start, because, start, because because starting with this, they're going to become much busier with uh, um, college and shit like that. So basically, college they go there. Set. It's called Queen's College. It's not college as in university. It's more like a different type of the use of the word college, if that makes any sense. Because remember, this is the 19th century. Terms were kind of used differently back then. Uh, she goes to Queen's College, and it's not a U.S. meaning of college. It's more like a, 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 pre a prestigious school of sorts. That's kind of how, how they, it's meant to be. It's not meant to be university in, mo in the modern sense, if that helps you. But yeah, no. The next time they interact, it will be for the purpose of reconciliation. So they will not. Uh, this okay. is actually the last. So basically, Lucy Ponospona will put this on the shelf for now, and will only bring it out of the shelf for the sake of finally concluding it properly. If that helps you. But anyway, uh, Shirai, would you? Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, do you agree um, about this whole thing, or do you think uh, maybe? Yes and no, because. Honestly, the two of them haven't been on screen together in enough episodes for this to actually annoy me. But at the same time, I feel like 
I prefer Dwibs' idea of just having her just go, hmm, and then, you know, walking off instead of, you know, having a go at him. Yeah, sure. Uh, but I guess, you know, her being sensitive about her hair for so long is similar to the last episode. Like Tio mentioned, it's society. Like, it's kind of been ingrained into Anne that, you know, her hair is ugly. So, you know, that's not exactly an easy thing to get over. Like... She's had to put up with this nonsense all around her, so... If I may, mm -hmm. I feel like this could have been an opportunity for adaptation to surpass original. Not at first, but... Here's the way they could have had it go similarly enough to the book. But in a way where you know this, like... Okay, so in the book, Anne and Gilbert don't really have much interactions. Imagine if, per se, you know, instead, Anne does thank Gilbert... Maybe this isn't immediate to go with the friendship, but some of the episodes do include Gilbert in on the action so that we can see how they eventually get to the point where they build up to, you know, where Anne admits that she did forgive him at that point. Like, again, she doesn't have to say she forgives him, but she can at least say that they can, you know, not be at each other's throats constantly. Because I'll admit, the way you described it does make it sound a bit weird that supposedly they don't interact until that last uh, chapter in the book, in which case... You'll have to wonder what the heck went on there. I do feel like this could have been a cool opportunity to have it be that we get to see some subtle development along the way. Like, you know, I mean, it sounds like the book leaves enough room open, if, especially if Gilbert wasn't originally in them here and there. Granted, there could easily be reasons that maybe they went to different schools or whatnot, but still, though, I do feel like there was a bit of a missed opportunity there. I'm not going to fault Takahata for doing it. Like, I get why he did it. I'm just saying that I really do see quite an opportunity oh, for an adaptation to make a change that wouldn't have really spat in the face of the book, honestly. In fact, if anyway, it could have possibly enhanced on the narrative. Oh, I, I, that friend, Joe, I actually agree with you there. Um, uh, but but at the same time, I can understand Takata's decision. He he probably he probably didn't want to risk it because he uh, he, he because this is a very beloved book. He probably so he probably wanted to okay. And not to mention Joe, but the author makes sort of makes her statement very clear, that, like I just read, of how this is supposed to go. So Takahata was like, okay, fine. I don't okay. I don't know if he. I can't prove this. But knowing him like I do, because I've seen everything he's done, uh, I think he probably reluctantly stuck to the book. But he probably thought, no, it's too risky. I probably should just write it, write this out. I get, I really get the feeling that's how it is because in other Takahata, this is the only because in other Takahata stories, specifically his original stuff, this would never happen. So it's uh, so it does really seem like this is just one of those cases where he really feels like he should. He's, he's stuck to the source material, uh, which. Uh, but again, I, I respect Takahata for putting the author's vision over his. I think because this is this because this is an adaptation still. So I do respect his decision. Uh, was it the right one? Well, that depends on who you ask. Some people would say no, 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 as close to the book as possible. Other people would say no. Uh, it just depends on who you ask. Per but, I, but I do respect Takahata's decision still. From a writing standpoint, I think I can pinpoint my main issue with it. It feels like a plot element made just to extend drama, only that turns out to be pointless because Anne and Gilbert don't even interact until closer towards the end of the book. So, like... What was even the point, really? Yeah, I do agree. I do agree that this would have been... Uh, the, like uh, this would have been the perfect time to do it. Like again, I don't know what Lucy was thinking. I guess she thought. Uh, I I guess she didn't want to put. I guess she didn't want Gilbert to come into full focus now because she was saving it for the second book. Trust me, Gilbert has a lot more focus in the second book. So I'm guessing she was just saving it for the second book. I don't know what to tell you. I do get the inkling that maybe she had some stuff saved up here and there. But it's just such a weird thing to do. And granted, I guess that's not helped by the fact that, well, it's not like we have, like, a second season of this anime to uh, cover that, well, so, can, shame. You can watch the second, you can just read the second book or, or watch Anne of Heavenly. Uh, like, it, it's, Anne of Heavenly is a, fa a very faithful adaptation. Uh, we also have to remember that this was a book written in the 19th century. So, obviously, the story the storytelling sensibilities of, the, of, of today weren't 
around the time. So back in the day, people had no problem with this, and Lucy didn't see any problem here. But you know, storytelling sensibilities and standards have changed since then. So yeah, probably maybe if Lucy wrote this book today, maybe she would have gone with what we just said. But again, we also have to remember, yeah, that this was made in the ni- in uh, uh, over a hundred years ago, back when storytelling wasn't quite as super refined as it is now. Now, I suppose so, some people might argue that, in a sense, maybe you might consider this realistic, that some people are just that egotistical and whatnot. Again, though, realism does not always constitute good storytelling, to be fair, and... I mean... Again, and even then... And even then, realism is not really the thing because Anne's, Anne's characterization is not exactly what I would call realistic, considering she's like uh, incredibly unusual uh, for a girl her age. So I don't think it's even that. I think it's just one of those cases where Lucy probably wanted to focus on other things. So let's put Gilbert on the shelf for now, and the second book will take care of that. Whatever. The point is, well, well, all right. So that was an unfortunate Lily Maid. Uh, see you for the next episode. See ya. Yeah, I'm gonna be forty-two. See ya.